common misconception in the industry is that copper terminations are more reliable than aluminum terminations. Terminations using Southwire's Alumiflex feeder conductors are just as reliable as connections made with copper feeders. The 8000 series electrical grade aluminum alloys that are used for aluminum building wire today have a proven track record of reliability and performance. In fact, since 1987, the National Electric Code only permits an 8000 series electrical grade aluminum alloy be used for any building wire product. In 1968, Southwire was the first company to develop and patent an 8000 series aluminum alloy conductor. This alloy has been used in all of our aluminum building wire for over 40 years in every type of commercial project, including apartments, condominiums, hotels, stadiums, casinos, and office buildings. The biggest testimonial of reliability of this product has been in the residential market. We estimate that over 90% of all homes built in the United States utilize an 8000 series aluminum alloy feeder from the meter to the main panel board. The vast majority of conductors used from the generating station to your home are aluminum. For over 100 years, aluminum conductors have been relied upon to carry electrical current from the source generating station through the substations to the service entrance and ultimately to your home. NEC section 310.14 only allows the use of an 8000 series aluminum alloy for any residential or commercial building wire installed inside a building. For connectors to be listed, they must meet the stringent requirements of UL486. In this standard, connectors are subject to a 500 cycle current cycling test, static heating test, and mechanical sequence test. Of these tests, the current cycling is designed to assure the reliability between connector and conductor over time. Note, in this test, connector instructions are followed, except that the conductor is not wire brushed. An oxide inhibitor is only used if the connector is pre-filled with the antioxidant. This UL486 test requirement assures the reliability of connectors used on the market today. A key factor to any reliable electrical system is a proper termination, whether copper or aluminum. Using the following procedures will ensure that aluminum alloy terminations will perform the same as an equivalent copper conductor. As a matter of fact, this procedure is exactly the same whether terminating copper or aluminum alloy conductor. There is no difference. The same aluminum alloy lugs are used when terminating a copper or aluminum alloy feeder using mechanical dual rated set screw lugs. There are two types of terminations used, mechanical set screw or compression lugs. The following mechanical set screw termination for aluminum alloy feeders when installing aluminum building wiring cable is the NECA Aluminum Association recommended procedure, as outlined in their jointly developed installation practices guidebook. This procedure is exactly the same as when creating a copper termination. Make sure that all lugs used with an 8000 series aluminum alloy conductor are dual rated, UL listed, and identified for use with aluminum conductors. These lugs will usually be identified and marked as ALCU, AL7CU, or AL9CU. Most breaker and panel board manufacturers use dual rated lugs as standard on all their equipment. Next, strip the insulation from the conductor by using either a knife or an appropriate stripping tool. When penciling with a knife, care should be taken not to nick or damage the individual strands. After the insulation has been removed, wire brush the conductor and apply a UL listed joint compound. Connector manufacturers instructions include this step for both aluminum and copper conductors. Finally, tighten the connection per the connector manufacturers instructions using their published torque requirements. Torque values are the same for copper and aluminum. The NECA Aluminum Association guidebook provides a table with required torque values. The steps provided here, as stated in the NECA Aluminum Association guidebook, are a general guide. Always follow the connector manufacturer's instructions when making terminations. There are no additional maintenance requirements needed when using an 8000 series aluminum if terminated properly using this procedure. Most importantly, do not retorque the terminations as part of any routine maintenance procedure. As with copper conductors, repeated tightening of any set screw connection could result in the eventual biting through the conductor, which will ultimately cause the termination to fail. Connector manufacturers do not have maintenance requirements for copper or aluminum conductors. If installed properly, you will have no problems with electrical connections. Again, if you follow these simple procedures, Using a termination listed for aluminum and the connector manufacturer's instructions, the terminations made with the Lumiflex feeders will have the same reliability and performance as an equal opacity copper conductor.